G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where I'm back in Alpha 20, coming into day 32 of our Clock Tower series. My getting rather claustrophobic Clock Tower is about to get a little bit worse, because I have some things I want to do today. I do need to go up to Bob's Boars and get myself some Supercon, plus hit up that tier 4 fetch and clear on the way back, but before I start going off for shenanigans in the countryside, I need to make myself a chem station. I should have most of this stuff available to me already. The cooking pots might be interesting. I have all three cooking pots. I have a beaker. So the next cooking pot I find, I have to actually take home with me because I've got none left over. Bit of a bit of a short-sighted mistake by me. But now I have DD, all of my pockets, my gyro, and my motorcycle. I've got pockets Four days, one cooking pot, not that big of a deal. I'm short seven iron to make what I need. Forged iron, that's two. Make more, please. Come on, you can do it. A little bit more. Let's get a little bit on the crab before I sort of the rest of the stuff. There we go, four of you. What else did I need? I needed short iron pipes and acid. Got plenty of acid, short iron pipes as well. Thank you very much. That's gonna be six, so I'm gonna need one more. Nice. Okay, so that's most of the things taken care of. I don't want to smelt in all that iron though, because I want to try and get all of the uh, all of the resources up to six thousand to do the stack trick. So you can go into them, go to that one. What other stacks can I make while I'm waiting for that? Actually, coal got that. Iron need that. Lead definitely don't have that. Need to go lead mining at some points. Nitro powder got that. Oil shale don't have. Small stones I have. Wood don't have. So there's lots I still need to do. Maybe I should just kind of put it like behind me and just do what I need to do and get things done. But I don't know. There's so much experience to be gotten by doing that. I'm too tempted to put it in the back pocket. Chemistry station. 15 minutes. I'll get your craft up and come back for you later. Because good God, you take a long time. I've got most of the stuff that I need. I've got two stacks of ammo of both kinds, which I usually do when I'm going on a big adventure. Uh, I'm a little bit hurt, so I'll slap on a cheeky bando. A little bit peckish, so I'll slap down a cheeky chili dog. Slurp it down like Homer eating an eclair. No chewing, just gagging. Um, that might come in handy, but I've got them at home should I need it. That's fine. Red tea I need for, uh, what we call it, for learning elixirs, where I get the ability to make those. May as well just take you, then. I'll do. I'll eat my last chili dog as well. Okay. I think I'm ripe and ready to go. Do you have anything inside you? No, you don't. You do have lots of pockets on you, though. That's all locked in. All the necessary stuff is coming with me. I'll do a cheeky little repair across most of the gubs that I need. In fact, only really that one. I'm looking for armor, though. Mm, it's all fresh armor, so no whackers there. Looking good. Looking real good. The next skill point I get, though, going into heavy armor for extra perks... We're done. We're good. We're glorious. Grab the gyro. Let's get cracking. Probably need some fuel for you as well. Let's get out of here. Got 69 fuel in my gyro. Lovely, lovely. Do a cheeky little U-banger right next to the construction sites. Don't get too close because the game will die spawning in all of the zombies. So do I do... What a brisk morning, by the way. Looking lovely, lovely out here. Do I do the tier 4 fetch and clear first? No. No. No, that's the one I do if I have some spare time. The only reason I'm thinking that maybe I should do it first is because they take so long and I kind of have an idea in my head about how quickly, if I need to, I can push through Bob's Boars. I'm going to Bob's Boars purely to get the, um, what's it called? To get the, the super corn. I've only brought with... <laughs> only brought with, only brought with me one, uh, what should we call it? One loot and candy. And I'm raiding two places potentially. So that might be a bit of an oversight. That might be a bit silly. Maybe I can find enough stuff in Bob's Boars to go and sell it to Jen. Because I only need a hundred dollar reduce to buy myself another loot and candy. Not a bad idea. Plus Bob's Boars is right next to Trader Rex actually. So I can sell it pretty easily. Hundred bucks are hard to come by. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We got this. I can see the tiny little landing strip up there that I gotta put it down on outside Bob's. But this is also the town where the quest is. So I might get a little bit low. Maybe fly right up Main Street here. It's like one main road that goes all the way through the town. And just see what POI it's taking me to. 
It was like the, um, what are they called? It was like the strip shops or something like that. So maybe it's like a, a triple or a quaddy, a couple of different like retail outlets back to back that I need to go through. There's some construction on the road down here. Main Street is out of order with a digger all the way down in the sewage pipes. Don't know how you're getting it out of there, out of there, bud, but well, you've got it in there now, so figure it out. Oh, wait, that's the place. Ooh, it's got like a sweet bar up on the roof as well. well that's going to be a real fun place to go to. Looking forward to getting in there and ordering a couple of frothies. But right quick, got to go take care of a big green boar first. Another very graceful landing. In fact, I'll park up with my nose facing down the next runway for me to take off on nice and easily. That's some... <laughs> for once in your life, Josh, you're actually pulling off some semi-decent piloty. Still can't land on your stupid pad though, can you, you muppet? Okay, that's all loaded up. Uh, Deeds, if you would be so lovely as to quickly hold on to these things, I don't need them right now. Can't lock them in, but that's fine. Just to free up my regular pockets. Nice. All right, Bob's balls, Carl's corn, whatever you got, I'm coming for all of it. Shotguns out, zombies about to die. It's always so tempting to just go down and grab the loot that I know is waiting for me down there. I'll just open it up for future, Josh. Do myself a favor by making sure it's open and ready. I might even actually... Because I do know there's actually quite a bit of resources around here. And I am running out of cement powder back home. I always call it cement powder. I do look at mad about that because it's, it's cement and then the wet stuff is concrete. But I like to just, you know, clarify I'm talking about the dry stuff, not the wet stuff. Yeah. So I might just do my future self another favor and grab all this stuff while I'm here too. All the dead corns up here. Don't need any of that. Out of stamina. Do need some of that. Just want a slightly better shovel. Slightly better shovel means I can one hit everything. Makes life so much quicker. That's interesting as well, actually. Those are iron spikes. It used to be that door was like buried in a hole, uh, behind a whole bunch of rubble. But if that's been updated, that means that this POI has been tinkered with. So it is no longer what it was in Alpha 19. So I should probably try and keep my wherewithals with me. I mean, between the AK, the shotgun, and all the other things I've got going on, I shouldn't have too much trouble. Also, balls are super aggressive now, so... Try not to spare them and kill them when you can. Apparently they're stronger too. That's all right. Got my machete. If I can lure them out and harvest them up, we'll have our BLT tonight. Gonna make sure I kill them first. Nice and cleanly. God, you're so tough though. I put a bullet through your eye socket and you're still trundling about. Seeing as pigs just aren't dying nearly as quickly as I'd like, I may as well just... Ooh, <laughs> apparently that was just outside the confetti range of the shotgun. There we go. I would have thought given I just murdered the building at the same distance behind you, the first attempt would have worked, but I guess not. I should actually mention as well, this, I think he's really strong. I really like the Bob's Balls PY. I kind of take it for granted because you, you're focusing on other things when you come through here. But it's got Gracie down in the basement. It's a cool PY that has kind of like a story behind it with the pigs being fed other animals and all the experimentation stuff going on. I like that there's more involved with it than just what's on the surface. I don't know, sometimes I catch myself thinking about all the cool things in this game. Take you, because I definitely need you for back home again. Yeah, there's really cool stuff that I should be paying more attention to <laughs> when I'm blowing pig's brains away. You search the pile of books. Don't need paper. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong goggles. I need levels up, but I should have been wearing the XP goggles this whole time. I've been murdering half the wildlife that live in here, but apparently not. Silly. Silly of you, Josh. Speaking of silly. Where are you? There you are. Anyone else? Just you, hiding out in the corner. There we go. Now we're getting the XP boosties. I want that level up so I can start becoming the tank I always wish I was. My frame rate is dog shit right now. Which means there's lots of zombies spawned in somewhere. I'll, t I'll put the chlamydia pod back in my pocket to try and alleviate the pressure a little bit. But still don't think it's going to work out very well. Fast game's a good game. Though I'm not running nearly as fast as I once did. Weighed down with half a ton of steel armor. is apparently not a recipe for quick movements. Sort it out. AK's doing real good. I do kind of want the M60 just because it's the next level up of that uh, type of weapon. It would be super handy for Horde Knights, but 
The AK is just, it just feels good. It handles well. Kind of the same kind of principle as what I have for, um, like the pub shotgun. Oh, I was going to say, don't. I didn't even murder you. Hang on. I'll send both bodies down below and come back to find you again. Oh, you're just there. Hang on a sec. That didn't work. That didn't work. There we go. That gotcha. Trying to open up things with shotguns is a whole other kettle of fish. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, like the older shotgun is the better one. For goodness sakes, I'm blowing holes in the floor, Josh. But the pump shotgun feels better. The M60 may be the better machine gun, but the AK just feels better. I'd have to find like a tier 5 or 6 M60 to consider swapping over. Because as it is, I'm just attached to these. They're so good. It's gotten very Silent Hill out here. Squeeze on through the window. Uh, get the club back out because they're... Oh, ho, 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 ho. There will be lots of mups around. Speaking of lots of things around, there's lots of cement waiting for me. Yum. Hello, bud. Ooh. Didn't quite get there in time. Nor did I get to the second time either. I was expecting to have a little bit more leeway to pop your noggin off, but it wasn't to be. Well, look at all this cement up here, though. This is going to be good. I need all of this. I was running a little bit low, but before we've run out, we've come across the jackpot. So good. So good. I love it when I accidentally do really good things. Doesn't happen often for me. Before I go to the next bit, I'm pretty sure there was... Oh, uh, oh, come on. Up you get. Up you get. You can do it. There you go. A cheeky deeky secret up here. Get you out of the way. Sneaky weapons bag at the back. Grab you. Ow. I mean, I suppose... Like, what does it take to make a club then? Steel club. I've got the recipe for it. I can make it tier 5 because I'm max level Pummel Pete. 30 steel... And some other essentials. But that would... I think that would give me, what? Like, maybe 1,600 bucks plus the ability to put a bunch of club mods in. Which is always a hard place to find homes for. Are we okay? Just a couple of regular mops. That's fine. Pop your head up. Pop a bullet through ya. I can hear more, though. I feel like there is, like, maybe a horde or something outside, but there's definitely some more things going on than first appearance. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, there's there's mops outside. There's definitely mops outside. Open you up. No. There you go. What the hell was I hitting? Couple of muppets. Get on the stairs, please. Damn it. I needed more of you before I shot, so I didn't... Now you guys can't get to me because I broke the bloody floor. And I'm doing more damage again. All right. Oh, God. Don't break the bloody supercorn down there, please. The shotgun is a detriment. I'm having an issue again. I need to make sure, though, I'm paying attention. Before I do anything, actually, I'll chuck you guys in there. Repair the damage my own guns did. I need to kill the horde that's coming for me because that poses more of an issue than anything else does. That was right in the chin of ScoMo. There's some more down that way coming through the kitchen. Set a mass. I don't know why doors are so much more are stronger than actual walls, but apparently they are. How about I just get out there then and go a whaling? There's a whole bunch out here. Look at them all. Look at all out there stuck on the fence. That's fine. This isn't part of a quest where I can go clobber and time like the best of them. Get all my stamina back for the ruthless... Ooh, ruthless zombie murder. She went the limbo swipe. No, I went the better swipe. I can hear beating. Oh, there. I was going to say, I don't know where they've gone, though. There's still more around the place. Are you in here? Where the shit are you guys? I'm trying to find you to put you out of your misery, and so far it's not going especially well. Open that. There you are. Okay. Are we good? Are we back to normal again? God, wandering hordes just show up at the worst times. I'm out here trying to do the, my best effort for the world <laughs> by killing the floorboards. And you guys are making life more difficult. So this is what I'm here for. The super corner. Let's use the machete to harvest you up. Got two out of you. That can piss off. But that is what I need. Jeez, imagine turning it into glue. For awesome sauce, learn elixir. I have the ability to turn it into seed straight away, which I will definitely do. Got two out of you. Definitely a good call waiting until I had the um, living off the land perk to do that, though, because having one out of that would have been rather upsetting. Yeah, double the harvest. Yeah, I definitely did. Just wanted to make sure before I got too complacent about it. Grab all of you soon. How much concrete looking at at the moment? 
good couple of stacks of it. This has been a very lucrative trip. Down into the depths of Bobby Boars. There's going to be a couple of zombies around, I think, in the next room. I think this area, though, is usually pretty quiet. Yeah, okay. No, we're good. Deeds, get over here for a second real fast, because I need you to hold a bunch of my gubbins for me. That can stay with me. You can go into there, and I'll just lock you in place. The rest of it, though, is kind of uh, non-consequential, so in you will go. Inconsequential, I think, is the actual way to say that. <sighs> Every time I open my mouth, I make more of a fool of myself than prove that I don't know shit about what I'm talking about. Open you. Uh, I will... I'll actually wait, I'll kill Grace, and then I'll come back and raid all of this stuff all in one with the loot and candy going, because there's not actually much to loot in here. So I may as well take what I can get, the working, st uh, the working stiff stations, the workbenches as well. Grab all of this gubs, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, this is good. It's already two o'clock though, I'm not sure I have enough time to raid the tier four fetch and clear. Although I suppose I'm wasting a lot of my time here by digging up all the resources. If I didn't do that, I'd have plenty more hours. What I don't need to worry about uh, for time, though, is all the super corn in here. Harvest you. Do I get more by going with the fists? No, still only two, but a little bit faster. That's fine. Get all 16 of you, which gives me 18. I'm too shy of being able to make an extra bit of seeds. I'll turn you all into that straight away, though, so I don't make any mistakes later on. Thank you very much. I might need... I might need some more levels of living off the land if I'm going to be able to harvest that for as good of a rate as what I was uh, harvesting here for. Because... I didn't say that very well at all. Uh, with the new Alpha 20 farming stuff, you're not guaranteed to get the seed back. So, it's a little dicey to go down that route. That's all in there, though. That's all good to go. Okay. Well, we'll just quickly murder all the clowns in the next room. Murder Gracie as well, and we can pop a, uh, pop in our loot and candy. G'day, everybody. Oh, there's no one here? Oh, I could have sworn there was more, but speaking of more, there's more concrete. Oh, my God. I've grabbed all the cement, and I've got lots of it now as well. All right, car and deeds. All that's left is, is for us to murder the big green pig down here. I'm going to try and open up the um the box at the end of this before I pop the looting candy as well. Quickly pop your parts. Grace hasn't spawned in yet, so try and land quietly. Yeah, see? Sneaky dick. He didn't even know I was here. Deed, shut up! Jesus Christ, you're going to wake up the big green ball. This is where green eggs and hams comes from, I suppose. Can I sneak over quietly and get a stealth shotgun shot to the chin? I suppose if he wakes up and I like, panic, I can just whip out the AK and a hose. Definitely fully loaded. Yes, you are. Sneaky deaky. Mm, that might be close enough. Yep. Close enough. And hose. And hose. Ow. And hurt a lot. Oh, I didn't get to harvest you though. That's all right. Got lots of experience out here. Nice. Good to go. Let's get upstairs and get our loot. Before I go upstairs, actually, I got halfway there and realized I was making a grievous mistake. Uh, just open one if I think I can hop over the top. Yep, there we go. Do you have something I have to pick open? If I can avoid using my lock picking candy here, you do too. Uh, that would be super duper, but I'm not especially confident about that. Have a swing. Wait for my starter to come back again because I am not a fit boy. There we go. Okay. Lock picks are all hanging out indeed, so I'll quickly trade you. Mm, okay. Have that one. That one. Uh, what else can go in there? Probably that, actually, so I don't accidentally scrap it in my silliness. Okay, let's do it. Lockpicks on me. I got 10. Please get in on the first one. I don't want to have to use a lockpicking candy if I can avoid it. It's already 4 o'clock. Good God, today's going quick. There's the zeros. Fuck. Yeah, didn't have to use it. Only lost two lockpicks as well. Did you see that, DD? Pat, pat, pat. Ah, oh, it's so good having DD back again. All right. Slide on through there. Let's get up and out. That's a good spot just there. I went up the wrong way last time. This one should give me just a straight column. Ah, 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 damn it. What did I bonk my noggin on? For goodness sake. How? I'm going straight up through it. Oh, that one there. No, I'm not going up through a gap. All right, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Shock horror. 
loot and specs on eye candy in don't have a whole lot of space in my pockets and dd is already chock a block so hopefully we don't find much but we find valuable stuff that we do some wood and some steel and some steel and sledgy parts a repair kit there's not much here but I'm not gonna waste the opportunity especially with a high level poi when my looting level oh, is only 90 even with the looting candy going man the pine forest after the early game just does not give you gubs which i kind of like I, I know like the looting level is a bit of a contentious issue for some, but I actually think encouraging exploration into different biomes is really cool. The only downside to that is when a world like this happens where you've got all of your major towns in the pine forest, you don't really have that option available to you. But, you know, that's all part of the world generation stuff. You can't win everything. Let's quickly search you. First aid bando. Lab equipment. First aid kit. Scrap you, I'll take that. Mo power. A uh, book, some robo parts. DD, don't look, but it's a couple of your limbs. I promise I won't do that to you, though. Anything here, another eight times scope. Scrap you for the lead, actually. Machine gun parts, too. Metal spikes more. I can put that into a club. I can make to sell it. Ooh, what a treasure map. And a wood splitter mod. Nice. That's a pretty good get, actually. Up and out we go from the exit we dug for ourselves before. Ah, oh, what a nice place though. Got a, a view of the beach out there. Got all the corn you need, plus all the bacon you need. Bobby was living a good life before the apocalypse happened. Although, by the looks of things, he might have had a hand in that too. Maybe this is what he wanted. I don't know. Maybe he's trade erect. I can throw the accusation out. Got no evidence for it, but I've, I mean, no one's going to tell me he's not, is he? So, I'll dump all this shit in my gyro. It's half past five. That's not enough time to do that quest. And I wanted to do the tier 5 tomorrow. I'll go and have a look at it at the very least and see what I'm actually dealing with. I can sell you for 100 bucks. That's going to give me the loot and candy that I need. DD, where are you, love? I need to get the shit out of your pockets. There you are. Grab you. Take all of that and chuck that in the gyro as well. I'll take the bike over direct, but just to make sure I'm leaving everything I can behind where I need to. That's a lot of gubbins. Trader Rex, how are you? Been a little while since I came to see you. Um, you need to buy something. The, I didn't even give a moment's thought to the fact that I might not be able to buy another sugar bat, uh, another sugar bats, another loot and candy, because there's always loot and candy. And now, when I actually want to get it, there's not. There's just bloody sugar butts. You prick. That means I can't complain about it because I, I always want sugar butts, but like now you. when I want the other one, you don't have it for me. I'll sell you. That's a hundred bucks because I can go buy those sugar butts and not have to look for them ever again. Nope, nothing there. Anything fun in your secret stash while I'm up here? Pumpy, machine gun, a frothy recipe. Ooh, tier six solar cells, more gyro shit as well. Some good stuff. Nothing that's like, you know, oh, making me you really drool me, huh? too much. Well, I'll take that one. Gosh, Dang, that didn't knock out how I thought it was going to go. Well, in that case then, I'm not sure what the best option is. I could go and try and do that tier 4 fetching clear. But the downside of that is that I am... <laughs> I am so shock a block full of loot. I didn't think I would be, given how much space is in the gyro. But apparently I bloody am. Hmm... I, I don't think it's the right call, you know? It's a long way away from home. I'll have a bit of look at what the POI actually is, and if it's doable, I might try and do it, but I'm not going to hedge on my bets and make any promises as the fog rolls in. I'm like, hey, I want to go have a look at something, and the game's like, nah, mate, <laughs> say goodbye to your eyesight. Where is this place? It was just down here, wasn't it? Had the bar up on the roof. Yeah, this one here. Couple of zombies. In fact, I am frightfully close to the next level up, so a little bit of cheeky murder is it isn't particularly ill-advised. Excuse me. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. My why is my frame rate so bloody dog shit? Come on, gang. Keep up with me, please. How I mean two XP to the next level. Nance! Thank you very much. Bonza mate, level up! I think I finally killed all of the Muppets in the street out here. So it is this joint here, isn't it? I'll track you. No, it's further down. Oh, it is. It's a triple. So it's not that one with the bar. It's a different one that has a crack book in it, actually. But it is already 7 o'clock. And I am so laden down with gubs, I can't fit everything in. I might have to just go home, you know? Go home at least chop some stuff off. 
I don't think I'll have to... I'll do the tier 5 tomorrow still. This tier 4's been here for a while. So I'm not too concerned about it. Plus, the tier 5 is going to give me better gubbins. Oh, man. That was a lot of zombies to kill in the street, though. I'll go here. Spend that point on two. Ooh, it was in strength, wasn't it? Heavy armor. Chuck it into them. Reduces movement penalty by 5%. And durability by 50%. That's all good news. That's going to turn me into a rolling ball and tank in no time. But, yeah. I think this is going to have to wait. The crickets are already chirping. I just don't have the time to do it. I wanted to, but... Oh! There we go. <laughs> Bounce off the road close side, because once you're in the air, it doesn't matter anymore. There we go. I'll do that another time. It's going to have to wait a little bit, though. It's foggy as dicks, and I can't see a sloth, so it's just me and Didi cruising through the white stuff with no idea where the hell we are. I've tried to mark my, uh, my house. Well, that's where the marker is right now, so I kind of have an idea of when I might show up there. I'm feeling confident. I shouldn't, but I am. I'm going to try and land on the gyro pad again. There's a bus down there. I can see the windows get a little bit lower. That's all right. As long as I can see the deck and figure out where the hell I am. That's kind of all I'm hoping for. Visibility sucks ass. The fog has cleared reasonably well, and I now have a little bit more eyesight to work with. Okay, I've been landing like a feather the last couple of times, but it's so much harder to do when you're trying to land on a spot as opposed to just on a road anywhere. So I'm going to try... Just coming nice and slow. Oh, I didn't realize that I've definitely taken a chunk out of my pad. I'm way too high. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go like this. Nose up. Go backwards a little bit. Nope. Didn't get there. Almost reversed. Ow. Reversed onto my pad. But the important thing is, is I rode my gyro to the ground and didn't just die. Not great. Not great. I, that gyro pad is worthless. It's so small and so unusable. I don't know why I bloody have the thing. Speaking of things I should definitely use better, uh, let's go here, turn you on, because you're wearing down my other batteries. No one's outside, but I'll turn on the Sparky Boys. There we go, no glitched wires, I'm not going to get myself electrocuted. Still mad about that. There's enough problems in this game already trying to kill me, I don't need glitches killing me as well. Putting all the gubs I need to away, just going to read that treasure map as well. Wanted to read it when I got home, so... It wouldn't spawn the treasure out in the bloody... Could have gone anywhere. There was an ocean there. I wouldn't put it past the game to spawn a treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean. And it spawned it in the middle of the town. You're going to have to dig through all the bloody bedrock stuff. That's going to suck. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's significantly less exciting, but it is what it is, I suppose. Deal with that another time. The rest of you guys have to go into the sellables box. Uh, into them. That one, robo parts can stay with me in case I can make myself a better robo later on. So can machine gun parts, make myself an M60, should I be able to? And that stuff as well. I have a lot of mods actually, that's stacking up kind of nicely. It's about to be night time, but let me have a quick little look-see at what the rest of that living off the land stuff is. Fortitude would be handy, like it does machine guns as well, so some points in there, not a bad idea. So you give me... You can craft seeds for berries and veggies, that's fine. 50% chance to harvest one additional crop, so an average of 2.5 uh, crops out of each plant, so okay. And farm plots cost 50% less, I've already got 30% less, so okay. And then you give me tripler. So none of you give me a guarantee of getting the seeds back again. That's a bit upsetting. So there's no... No point, well, there is some point, you know, I get 2, 2.5, and 3. There is some point in putting more points and living off the land, but nothing that's really telling me to wait until then to do it. So what do I need for farm plots? Wood, rotten flesh, nitrate powder, which I have a fair bit of, and clay soil. Okay, I should have... None. Shit. I've <laughs> at, Oh, I've got a fat stack of uh, stone there, actually. At no point have I been bringing home rotten flesh. That is very short-sighted of me. Have I really done that? Have I not brought home any rotten flesh? I was just in a Bob's Boars that is chock or block of rotten flesh and didn't think once maybe I should bring some of that home with me. I mean, I know you're short-sighted a lot of the time, Josh, and it's not why you wear glasses, but it may as well be. That's bang average. That's really bloody poor by me. That's not even- that's not your best, that's not even your worst, but it's not far off it. None. None at all. No rotten flesh, not even a couple of scripts and scrapes. Shit. 
Okay, well, I have. I've got three. I feel like a DD out there. There's a wave run about outside the window. I've got three seeds. So I'm going to need 21 rotten flesh. They're all coming up the window, though. There's no dogs out there, though. Sounds like my electric fence is broken, too, which is going to cause some issues. You piss off. Both of you piss off. Got any dogs out there at all? I need some rotten flesh now. Now I'll welcome you in with open arms and machetes. I guess my best option is just to jump on my bike, but there's a little corpse there. Jump on my bike and start hitting the town. There's three. I need plenty more. Plenty bloody more. If I could just find <laughs> one zombie bear or a zombie dog or anything like that, that would give me everything I need, but I don't think my luck's that good. Sit you down. Sit you down properly. Mm, I guess it's just going to be the goopy stuff. That's my only option. Not a great option, but it's better than nothing. There's a body just there. Grab you. That gave me one. An entire body of dead guy gave me one rotten flesh. Also disappointing. There's the sewer hatch, which means there's probably some both zombies and uh, bodies up the top here. Can't strip the titties all the way down. You staggered yourself and you lure me into a stroke. They're getting good. I've, you know, for a long time, I've been out here duping zombies and getting them to do unspeakable things, but now they're doing it to me. Can I, I harvest you? You used to be able to. I can cut your legs off, but I can't take the flesh home with me, apparently. That's uh, a shame. It's the wrong kind of dead guy. I see how it is. I've come out to Yonkers to see if I'm going to have some more luck in the farms. At the moment, though, I'm still just going from, like, deer corpse to deer corpse. Still being really annoyed at how many corpses were in the basement of Bobby Boars, and I just left it all behind. I've got 14, so I need, what, seven more. There's one there. Lovely. Thank you. Grab you. There's another two. Slowly but surely, we're edging our way there. Like, maybe we'll just go into, like, one of these places. I'm not sure what's been waiting for me in here. If there is a zombie dog, then uh, you beauty. Ah, there we go. That works. Grab you. Don't grab you, because I can't get in there, apparently. Huh. <laughs> Six times damage? You should be dead. Why did six times damage to your asshole? You should have killed over in no time. That'll do me. 21. There was another goopy pile in the corner. 21 is all that I needed. So, turns out going to the farmland was a good idea. Jump back on that and head back past the shooting range back home again. It is just after midnight. I, want, I just want to get my, my, my crops planted. I still need to build some more walls and upgrade the walls around the compound. Especially, I'm going to start using the arable land down the bottom for all of my deeds. So, I'm going to have to go get on that pretty quickly. But, if I get the crops in the ground first then at least I have something to protect. Funnily enough, on my adventure of harvesting bodies, that gave me enough nitrate powder as well. So I'll take the wood and the clay soil was the other part. There we go. Get all three of those. Not clay soil, your Muppet farm. There you go. Get you. What am I missing? Was it more nitrate powder? I think it might be. Give me the other stack of it then. That's not my big boy stack. There you go. Grab you. Farm plots, three. Nice. Okay, the rest of you guys can all go back away. You guys too. Food can go into that box. I did also have my chemistry station now, but I'm running out of room for it. I couldn't even put it in here if I wanted to. It's three wide. Do I have more room up the top? Like, kind of? If I move the... Mm, the ladder's in that corner. And the ladder's in that corner. This, this has not gone well. I'm not sure. I'm just going to chuck the chemistry station back in there because I don't know where to put it right now. I'll deal with that tomorrow or some other time. I might have to build like an extension or something out the side of my tower for somewhere to put it. Or like down here, maybe somewhere. This is all kind of dead space at the moment, I guess. Just underneath my floor, but before we get to the horde base part... I'll go get that last farm plot. I'm not sure where I'm going. Got distracted by the idea of upgrading my base. Grab you and grab you. Do I need any extras? Like how much like Darkness Falls is this? How much more extra stuff do I need to grow this stuff? Was it anything? Oh, Josh, have you wasted your time? Could I have just... Get rid of you. No. Okay. I thought for a second, because you used to be able to use the farm plots to spawn in the world, but... 
I guess not anymore. It's not even a bloody farm floor. I was got 5,000 health. There's a pain to look like it. It was just lying to me. Yes, yes, I know. I'm mad about it too. Oh, can you help me dig up the concrete then? Can you actually put in some effort and be a friend or are you just going to rock my jaw? Just going to rock my jaw. It's going to take way too long to beat those things down as well. I kind of wanted to... Actually, you know what? It's going to look fine. If I just use that as a base and chuck it... Deeds, get out of the way, please. Come on, out of the way. DD, over here. Get out of the farm plots. There you go. Like, I, I did kind of want to sink it down below. I can maybe do that later when I have some more time. But you go there, there, and there. No, there. There we go. Super corn seed. You're going to grow nice and tall. And you are kind of out of the way from any zombies that might make it in here. The only problem here is that if a zombie does get in, decides to break that down, the plots are exposed. So after the first crop, maybe I will go in and I'll uh, sink them down into the ground so they protect it a little bit better. That's going to be sick. That's going to be so good. Super corn, here we come. But with that, though, I am going to have to wrap up this episode. I'll grab the concrete out of there and out of there and chuck you where you belong. Into there you go. Did I actually grab that? Yes, I did. Nice. So I do have a fair amount of cement uh, in my pocket now. I was down to the last couple of hundred, but got plenty of it now. Also got lots of cobblestone. I'll save that because I need to upgrade the walls of my compound. So tomorrow, I need to repair my electric fences at the horde base. Need to do that. I need to go and do the tier 5 raid. It's going to be pretty dicey. But I want to do it and I hope to get some rewards out of it. And then start considering what I'm going to do for the horde. That's going to be a stretch. All the traders are there waiting to have upgraded themselves as well. And I need to find somewhere to put down a chemistry station to make myself a bunch of gunpowder to make some more ammo. I'm reasonably ammoed up at the moment, but I always need more. That's only what? Almost at like, like 900 rounds of ammo for 7.62. Not that much at all. But as the thunder rolls in, I'm going to have to get that ready in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon and Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. And subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you then first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.